Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. Alright, we got a big game up today in Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2017. This is season number 4 or 5 now. We've been getting on for a while. Uh, let's see, t it's the 2022 season, uh, well, 2021-2022 season, and we are uh, two games left in the year, the regular season anyway, and big matchup today. We are on the road at Savannah State, who is the league leader. We are only a game behind uh, in the league standings and have a chance to move up. Uh, if we're able to pull off the win. Uh, but this game very much uh, favors home team over away team. Uh, they are 9-4 at home. We are 5-7 and seven on the road. Uh, we have similar RPI. Uh, so big game coming up. And let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, this will certainly decide whether we can get the regular season uh, league title, but it won't decide the success of our season. Um, we can still find success in the playoffs, or at least as long as we stay in the top uh, three or four positions in order to be promoted uh, out of Conference V. Uh, if you have been watching the series, you would know that unlike uh, the regular college basketball season, uh, this game reimagines, well, the game itself doesn't. I chose uh, the setup when I first set up this uh, as a lower league manager series. So it reimagines the NCAA as uh, uh, as a open system with promotion and relegation. It set the league up with 23 different divisions. Okay, uh, really bad start for us as we are down 6-0 here early on. Uh, now 9-0, and with that, 11-0. Are you kidding me? All right, we're going to use our first time out and see if we can't get things going. Uh, we're down 11 nothing just a few minutes into the game. Uh, anyway, we placed ourselves in Division 23, out of the 23, and the bleeding continues. We're down 14 nothing, 16 nothing, seven minutes into the game. 20 to nothing. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this. We are down 20 to nothing. Uh, Eight and a half minutes into the game, and we have yet to score a single basket. There's finally uh, an and one to get us on the board. Three points uh, for Isaac Kidd. And Isaac Kidd gets the next bucket as well. Uh, well, we finally have uh, started scoring. However, we are down by nearly 20 points here early in this game. So this is going to be a real struggle uh, for us to have any chance of coming back on this one. Uh, so I'm already turning my sights to what's going to happen after uh, this. Uh, hopefully the last game of the season, which is also on the road, but at uh, a lower place team can result in a win so we can maybe hang on to a top three league finish uh, for one of those automatic promotion spots. Uh, we had gotten ourselves up uh, in uh, season three up to uh, Division 22, Conference U, uh, but we rubber banded right back down 
and we're trying to rubber band right back up. But look at this, we absolutely caught fire and we are right back in this game. Uh, we got within just a few points there for a moment. We're down 36-30 right now. Looks like Marcus Lowe came in hot here for a while. You can see how active Lowe has been. Dunk there from Jennings. Brings us within four just before halftime. I like it. And Collins grabs two free throws. Really, with just a couple seconds, they drain a three uh, at the buzzer to stretch the lead back out a little bit as we enter the second half. Uh, senior Ian Dawson not getting the job done today at all. Three turnovers, three assists, no points. Right, uh, Jennings brings us back within and favors. Uh, brought us within one point there for a moment, closest we've been since the score was 0 0. Right, Charles George bringing us a little bit closer. Low called for the foul there. Hopefully nobody's in any kind of foul trouble. Looks like we just had a total rotation of the squad besides Jennings. This is a pretty good group on right now too though. Two point game. 12 minutes to play. Love how we've come back after being down 20 points. Fifty-one forty-nine. I'm going to play. All right. Well, anyway, so we have a decent uh, overall record this year. But again, we're sitting in third place. Uh, there are three automatic promotion spots and then a fourth spot uh, for the conference tourney winner. Uh, so I'd like to get into that top three spot and not have to rely on uh, the conference tournament Looks like we're dropping some points here. We're back to uh, now seven behind. Uh, we did take a quick turn over there, a uh, quick time out there to try to settle things down, but we are down nine points at the moment. Uh, Marcus Lowe drains a three, though, to bring us back in, and they immediately turn around and go to the other end and get a big uh, two-point shot of their own. 67-61. We are down six points with five and a half to play. Uh, turnovers have been big story of the day as um, we have struggled in that department. Uh, we've forced a lot of steals, but we are back within three now uh, with just over four minutes to play. Uh, we've got a real shot here, but uh, we've never led in this game. Wouldn't it be something if we can't uh, pull off the win here late on. Three minutes left. I only have one timeout remaining, so be careful there. Two and a half minutes. Ian Dawson misses the tying shot. Uh, they get the offensive rebound, put it back up. Uh, Preston Favors goes down to the other end to bring it back within three. Now just under a minute to play. We're going to take that timeout. Come out from timeout and get one from the charity stripe. But then lose possession and time is up. We lose by two, 71-69. Uh, so close to the comeback, but we could not complete the job. Uh, Marcus Lowe led all with 17 points. Clifton Jennings added 10. Uh, Ian Dawson, real struggle on the day, though. He did get to six assists, but never scored uh, and had four turnovers. All right, so uh, the comeback goes wanting, and we lose the game. And let's see where that puts us in the standings. We drop to fourth place for the moment. Uh, so this last game is definitely a must win uh, if we have any hope of uh, 
improving our standings and Edwardsville is right at the bottom so there's a good chance that we could win however it is another road game So despite the simplistic text base of this game, uh, I have found this to be up there in terms of uh, quality, in terms of uh, replayability and time that it offers. It's turned out to be a pretty decent game here. So it uh, looks like uh, Seattle U did lose their game, so we are in a three-way tie for third place right now. So this is definitely a must win uh, if we are going to uh, get into one of those three automatic spots. Uh, so we're gonna watch this game as well. And see if we can't win this one. Best team in the league. We came from 20 points down to only lose by two points, but it was a loss nonetheless. Now, can we take on the 7-19 SIU Edwardsville Panthers and pick up a win on the road? All right, uh, we're going to speed through at least the early part of the game. I'll slow it down some in the second half. Uh, but once again, uh, our opponent gets the scoring started. But this time, uh, we are much more into the game. In fact, we have first lead we've seen on this episode as we were able to at least briefly take the lead there All right. All right, take a quick look Neely has four points Dawson doing much better today he's got seven points already uh, now nine he's almost in double digit figures after going scoreless in our previous game uh, as we approach halftime, the scores are basically level uh, as the lead bounces back and forth. Ian Dawson now with 12 points, uh, far surpassing his total of zero in that last game. All right, uh, we begin second half with a four-point lead, and we come out from the half uh, quickly on fire. We've already added nine points uh, to our total just a few minutes in. Uh, we're starting to stretch a little bit of a lead here. Uh, but this game is definitely not out of reach yet as we were only temporarily up 11 points and they start to uh, pick up the pace themselves. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down for the final 10 minutes here. Uh, we are now down to a one point lead. We're gonna use a timeout. Uh, seen that lead shrinking here for a while so they're on a bit of a run. And they actually have the lead, but we turn right around and Marcus Lowe drains a three, his 17th point of the game uh, to reclaim the lead. Dawson still sitting at 12 points. And Neely now uh, bringing 11. Blackman nearing a double-double, nine points, 10 boards. Uh, good performance from him. And there it is, double-double for uh, David Blackman as he makes the two after uh, grabbing the rebound. Uh, off of the block shot. All right, uh, we quickly stretched the lead out. Just like that, we are up by 11 uh, with just under five minutes to play. It's looking like we might pull off the victory uh, that we need. We're just gonna need a little help from our friends in the league in order to uh, re-secure that third place. All right, up 11, two and a half to play. Up 13. I think that's just going to about seal this game. Uh, nice performances from Blackman and Lowe, uh, and not bad at all from Dawson to add uh, 12 and 4 as well. Uh, turnovers are still at 3, but that's still that's not that bad for a game. Uh, we are definitely out rebounding them, which helps. There's a couple steals back and forth. Dawson gets the layup. Uh, we win by 10, 84, 74, and that does it for the regular season.
Now the big thing is the standings, how we're looking. Uh, looks like Seattle also won their game. They retain third place. Uh, we remain in fourth, so we do not supposedly have an automatic uh, promotion position. Wow, look at that RPI. We are neck and neck, uh, just one place off from each other. Uh, we have identical 15 and 12 records, identical 10 and 6 league records, so Seattle U and us uh, right there. Uh, so we'll see. I don't think that, I think that'll automatically give them uh, over us. I don't know if we take a look at our schedule, see how, how we did against Seattle. If that does anything, we lost at home by one. Uh, the only time we played them this season, so that very well could have been uh, the tiebreaker. I'm not sure how they have the tiebreaker set up on here, but they did beat us by one point uh, at home. So tough loss. That could be the difference between promotion and staying in Conference V again. So will it be a rubber band season? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get into... Uh, that conference tournament. I definitely don't see us making at 15 and 12 uh, any postseason tournaments. I think this conference tournament uh, is going to be our end point. Uh, Ian Dawson, the uh, soon to graduate senior, uh, does lead conference V and assists at 5.3 per game, so that's nice for him. Uh, he, as a sophomore, he was conference V uh, uh, first team, uh, first team all conference. So uh, I don't know if he's going to qualify for that this year. He might. All right, we're heading into March. Uh, let's see, rebounds, we don't have anybody there. Steals, nobody there. And blocks, nobody there. Uh, and points, our highest one is Blackman at 13 points a game. Uh, so Ian Dawson, the only one on the conference leaderboards. Uh, but one thing of note, we are top 24 uh, in the nation in points per game. So our offense is looking a lot better this year. It's that defense that still needs some work all right uh so first round uh which are going to be the five through 12 seed uh in the conference is up we're probably going to get the highest ranked of those as we were apparently in fourth place here's the next day it looks like we're going to play ithaca uh at 15 and 13 so uh Fortunately, it's considered a home game for us, or is it all uh, on a neutral location? All right, well, let's see this conference tourney game. Uh, this is how we're going to be wrapping up our season. Big game here against Ithaca. A uh, chance to move into the semifinals for the conference tournament. Okay, it considers us home team. And it's a tournament game. Conference tournament to be exact. All right, we're going to speed through towards the end uh, because this is definitely not going to decide whether we are uh, promoted or staying in Conference V or not. We've got to get past this game first. Uh, we do get off to the early lead, but it's certainly a close game. Uh, just a few points ahead. We're starting to build some momentum there. 28-18. We're out to a 10-point lead here. Uh, midway through the first half. Not a bad start. If we can keep the momentum. Uh, I can see us moving on in this game. Uh, but they, Ithaca keeps going on little runs to try to keep this game close. So, uh, it's certainly not... A stretch. Halftime score 41 32. Uh, Ian Dawson leading the way. Eight points, four assists, and four rebounds. Good game for him. He's now in the double digit scoring. 
Uh, Marcus Lowe looks a little uh, slower off the block today with just six, six points. Uh, Isaac Kidd has already added in eight points and four. Uh, that's Clifton Jennings with the four boards. All right, uh, we got a nice, comfortable lead, so I'm not going to slow this one down. We're going to uh, push right on through. But if they do start to close that gap, we will uh, certainly use a timeout. We're up, what, 18 with about five to play. Twenty points for Ian Dawson and seven assists and seven boards. Great game for him. He's definitely leading the way. Uh, the senior wants this one bad. Final score: 83-65 over Ithaca. We are going to move on to the semifinals. Mark Slow did uh, get up to 13 points in the end. Uh, Charles George, four points, six boards. You have new mail. All right, so we've made it into the semifinals. We're going to be going up against South Carolina Upstate, uh, who are 13 and 16. So I like our chances in this game. Uh, Seattle U and North Dakota uh, are in the other half. Definitely the tougher game uh, on that side of the bracket. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what the mail was, and then we'll move on. Okay, set it back out there, and let's watch this game against South Carolina Upstate. Getting a lot of games in today. Uh, this is potentially our last game of the season if we don't win. Uh, if we do win, we might be able to extend the season if we win the conference tournament and make uh, one of the postseason tournaments. All right, uh, we are seen as visiting team here, even though we have a far better record than South Carolina Upstate. Uh, they must have pulled off the upset to get this far. Uh, so that's a little disappointing that they've slated us as uh, the road team in this game, which will make it that much difficult and give them uh, a bit of an advantage. Despite that, we've got a tight game. Uh, early on, a bit of back and forth. Not a lot of scoring so far. 15-16 after 10 minutes. Uh, and most of our points have come from Preston Favors, who's already drained 12 points at this point in the game. Just before halftime, we now have the lead. Stretch that out to just five points. Now down to one just before halftime. And on the verge of halftime, we got a tie game. And that's the score at half, 34-34. We come out strong here in the second half, already stretching a lead. That's good to see. Uh, we, we definitely need this win here if we're going to have any chance of postseason play. Uh, and again, I'm looking for that automatic promotion bit. So I really want to get the, the win here in the conference tourney. Okay, got ourselves a nice little lead at this point, 54-43 with 11 to play. Uh, Preston Favors having himself a day, uh, 21 points, 5 boards now. Uh, Blackman adding another double-double with uh, 12 and 10. Nine-point lead, 5 to play. Time's running out, and the lead is stretching. Just over a minute to play. We are going to get the win here. Uh, Preston favors with 23.6 boards. Great day for him. Uh, I'd like to see a little more in the assist column, but 8 of 15 shooting. Uh, and Blackman goes 12 and 12 for the double-double. All right, 73-56 is the final. And we are into the conference tournament final game. Well, let's see, who do we get? Yeah, North Dakota, North Dakota, uh, 18 and 11. Uh, just one game better than us, uh, both in the regular season uh, overall record and uh, conference record. 
Now there's a good chance, and actually yes, okay, we should have uh, automatic promotion now because North Dakota already has automatic promotion as second place in the league. Uh, and how, whichever way it works for that fourth spot, uh, whether it defaults if the conference tournament winner is not one of the top three teams, then that fourth team is the conference winner, uh, the tournament. But if the tournament winner is one of the top three, I don't know how they decide who that fourth team would be, whether it's the next highest ranked team from the conference tournament or whether it's the next highest in the standings. But either way, if we lose this game, we're the next highest in the tournament and we're the next highest in the league. Uh, so either one of those scenarios, uh, we should now have uh, the fourth and final slot for promotion to Conference U uh, for next season. So the rubber band is banding. We're back and forth. Uh, we are going to bounce right back up to Conference U after last season's great start to the non-conference schedule and then absolutely horrid start to the conference schedule, which actually resulted in us finishing in the bottom four. All right, uh, conference tournament championship. Can we get ourselves a little trophy for this year? Start strong with the lead, uh, and we are seen as the home team here today. That's going to help us out a lot. Uh, and we start off strong, 9-4 lead early on. Uh, Ian Dawson having a good start uh, with six points in his first shift. Halfway through the first half, we got a tight game. It's now a lead for North Dakota as they drain a three-pointer. Boy, they've grabbed four blocks already. All right, first shift's back on there. Uh, ooh, not for long, though. They were only in there for a minute. Here they go, they're back in. All right, as we head to halftime, uh, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, uh, but we uh, grab a few buckets in a row there, uh, right around the halftime whistle, and we, coming out of halftime, stretch to a 10-point lead, now 11-point. Uh, great little run there to build some momentum and get ourselves in a good position to potentially win as we are up 15 points now uh, with 12 to play. Uh, Ian Dawson now at 12 points, six assists and five boards. Great game for him. Uh, Blackman just reached double figures. And as time's starting to run out, we have uh, just about enough here, I think, to see this one out. 13 point lead. 16 point lead. I don't even need a timeout. We've got this thing in the bag. We are going to win the conference tournament. Here is your conference tournament champions. The Olympic decathlons. All right. 84-65 final. Uh, Ian Dawson leads away with 18 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Great game from him. Uh, Marcus Lowe adds 13 and 8. Uh, David Blackman adds 13 and 6. All right, well done to the team. You have new man. Conference tournament comes to an end with us as champions. Does it update that at all? No. Uh, so yeah, North Dakota is who we defeated. Uh, they had a virtual tie, just like we did, um, for uh, the conference win. In fact, they had the better record uh, overall, but it uh, could have been a head-to-head -head thing. All right. Uh, let's see. Nobody's declaring for the draft. Uh, the finalists for Player of the Year, uh, Duke's point guard on top, UConn, Utah. All right, now we'll see uh, what happens from here. Are we going to make a tournament?
conference championship might be enough. Uh, tournament championship, anyway. I guess we can send the rest of the weeks. We can... Uh, Do we have tournament yet? Not yet. We're already. You have new mail. There we go. Selection show. Well. We shouldn't be making an NCAA tournament, I don't think. Uh, we'll skip it. We're almost out of time for this episode. Uh, let's just find out whether we're going to play a new tournament or not. No sign of anything there. Uh, no next opponent, so no... No tournament for us. All right, well, we're going to wrap up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Postseason tournament. Congratulations, Coach. Your team has been selected to participate in the National Championship Tournament. Best of luck to you. So we do, as the uh, conference tournament winner, get the automatic bid. Uh, we're going to face Southeast Louisiana, I'm assuming that's supposed to be LSU. Uh, they are 1911. They are just in Conference S. That's not that far above us. Uh, alrighty, well. Uh, here's the team leaders for Conference V. We led the league uh, in scoring and assists. Uh, rebounds, we were second. Um, steals, we were fifth. And blocks, we were fifth. So, great team performance this year. And, da da da, we do have ourselves a bid to the NCAAs. Might not get out of the first round, though. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, looks like Jacksonville got into the CIT. There you go. Okay, we are in the NCAA March Madness Tournament. Uh, we are a play-in game, okay, for a 16th seed, so right at the bottom, uh, as I would have expected uh, with our 18 and 12 record. Uh, we are playing another play-in, so this is the champion from a uh, division, a few divisions above us. Uh, Let's go ahead and check it out. We might get ourselves up against a first seed and get our first ever conference uh, uh, March Madness win, even if it's the uh, play-in game. Which, by the way, I, I liked it a lot better when it was uh, 64 teams and not 68 Whoa, guys, come on. Two number ones. How am I going to tell them apart? I'm joking, of course. But All right, here we go. Uh, we are given the road. The road assignment for this game, so it's going to make it a little more challenging, but we do start strong. We were at least temporarily up 10-5, uh, so we did get the early lead. Eight minutes into the game, though, scoring is quite low, and we actually have not scored quite a while. It's 10-12 now. I'm going to go ahead and use our first timeout, see if we can't get our offense uh, figured out before we get ourselves down up to points. Uh, we do stabilize things, and now we're trading baskets. And as we approach halftime, we've got ourselves a two-point game with three minutes to play. 
Uh, David Blackman has already grabbed 8 and 6 uh, for us to start pretty strong. No 3-pointers in this game at all yet. Wow. Okay, early second half, and we see ourselves in the lead for the first time uh, since early in the game. 37-37, 16 to play. <laughs> We're playing in March Madness. All the way down in Division 23. We get that final automatic bid. 48-46, right, tight game. Baskets are trading fast. We're down four at the moment. Seven minutes to play, so there you go. We needed a little run, and we got it, but we are right back down four points again. And look at that. We get a few quick buckets, and we take ourselves uh, our biggest lead of the game as we got up to a five-point lead there. Let's slow things down. Two minutes to play. Uh, we are up 69-65. Minute 23. David Blackman, double-double, 16 and 10. George also with 11 and 10. Uh, Dawson, only nine points today, but he's also grabbed his customary five assists. Uh, which seems to be just about every game. 69, 65, 40 seconds left. They bring it within one, draining the three, and they steal the ball and take a timeout with 20 seconds to play. And then they drain a three-pointer. In the final seconds, we got three seconds. And we come back to the other end. Marcus Lowe with the buzzer beater winning the game 72-71. He only had nine points all day. Three of nine shooting, but he made it when it counted. Marcus Lowe, as we go down in what seemed like the final possession, uh, Southeast Louisiana's shot uh, put them ahead, but left us with just that handful of seconds, about 10 seconds left in the game. Marcus Lowe comes out and makes the buzzer beater with no time left on the clock to win the game 72-71, and we make it out of the first round into what really should be the first round. Uh, which scary first seed team are we going to go up against, though? Let's find out. Quite a few teams from our league. Jacksonville got out of that first round. They're still... Uh, going through the CIT and uh, North Dakota into the CBI. Uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, number three in the country, uh, number one seed in whatever our region is at 25 and 5 is who we're going to be playing next. Good luck to us. <laughs> This is our first game against uh, a team ranked so high. <laughs> uh, I know we're over on time, but let's let's watch the rest of the season. If we get down about 20 here, though, we might not finish this game out. All right, away we go. Hey, we got a lead. We're up one nothing. And two minutes into the game, we're holding on to that lead. Stretch it, 5-0. We got the first uh, few scores of the game going. Clifton Jennings with four early points. Uh, but now they've grabbed the lead and started to pull away already. Uh, let's go ahead and use a timeout now if we're going to do so. Oh, we used two. Dang it. I only meant to do one. That's what happens when you play at 10 speed. Hey, okay, look at that. Halfway through the first half, we've got ourselves a bit of a game. We were tied at 19. Uh, before they begin pulling away from us. Uh, but we keep grabbing a little bit of momentum, and we're, we're at least keeping it close on them. So, respectable game here. Down 10, though, and falling further back as we approach halftime. Nice little run going there, though, but every time we get a little run going, they get one going of their own. So, halftime score, 47-38. It's at least not out of reach. Uh, we got some pretty balanced scoring going in this game. Uh, fewer turnovers than normal, but we're definitely going to need a lot of help if we have any chance of uh, being the first 16 seed to ever beat a number one seed. If I remember my tournament history right. 
Let's use that last 30 second. There it goes. Uh, we are starting to get down big here. And uh, really big. <laughs> we'll use that last timeout. And we're out of timeouts, so now we're just going to cruise to the end of the game. Uh, we are down 20 points, so I'm going to go ahead and do my outro. Uh, but we won't end the recording until time is up here in just a moment. But that does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my road to the record. Final score, Cincinnati 91, Olympic Decathlon Rings 62. Bye for now.